we always work with people who have a shared a common goal and people who can talk things out. It must be a two-way conversation. In business, a relationship is win-win. You know, it cannot be you win I, every time I lose. It has to be a symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit. So a good partner is someone who, you know, uh, helps you improve, helps you grow and expand beyond what you have. How I decide on a shipping partner? Uh, oh, price is of course important, convenience, reliability, and of, of course a lot of uh, sharing, knowledge sharing you know, and mentoring. Because sometimes our account manager, they have, seen, they have serviced a lot of companies before, bigger companies than, than mine. So they've seen a lot of things. So they can actually share some industry information with me and, and that really opens my mind. I think that's what I really, really appreciate about a good partner to work with in, for logistics. And we've been working with FedEx since since even before I started my business, there was a lot of trust between us and, uh, and the person who handled our account. He actually helped us to like, you know, um, scale our business at every step of the way. You know, when our orders started to increase, he even offered us really, really good spot rates. You know, he, we even taught, uh, also educated us, like how can you ship your shoes in a, in a more cost-efficient manner. You know, we even used the FedEx packs. We used the packs and it really brought down our shipping costs. And because the shipping cost was uh, was really really affordable and we brought it down because of the volume and the and the packs we were able to increase our marketing spend at uh, in all these uh, neighboring countries and increase our revenue so we do a lot of exports because of um, because of the efficiency in the shipping so uh, how, how I've actually started to decide which country to go first uh, I actually look at my analytics and I saw which were my top 10 countries I discussed with my FedEx uh, uh, salesperson and he actually my account manager and he actually uh, gave us some advice you know like which country you should go first which had low, uh, lower barrier of entry less complications with the customs he actually gave me a lot of very very valuable insights which back then as a young entrepreneur I didn't know but because of you know he had a lot of experience and he said okay you try this country this country and this country because there's a lot easier to ship there there's less uh, red tape from the customs and Usually, if you buy above, like you buy below 200 US dollars or 400 US dollars, you don't get tax. And then my products were about 50 to 60 US dollars. So he actually did a lot of study, advised me how I could actually fill up my customs declaration form, my export, my, my export form. So he actually went through everything with me to make sure it was a really, really smooth process. So that's how I picked uh, FedEx as my shipping partner, because of the service, because of the, the know-how, the knowledge, the sharing. I think it's a lot more than price. Price is, of course, very important for every business, but it's also about the the sharing. You know, the how do we how do we actually scale? Like even when I when we started to um, when we were buying all our raw materials from China, uh, he they also uh, our account manager also advises us how we can actually do a reverse pickup very very quickly from China and then ship the product back at a very very low cost and a very very uh, easy manner convenient. If you're looking for someone to collaborate with, I think the first step is to be shameless and ask. If you, if you get rejected, don't worry, just keep on asking. Eventually, you will find someone who's willing to work with you. And I think it's uh, a number game. Uh. The, more, the more people you work with, uh, the stronger you become. What I did was, I just texted all these artists on Instagram. That's all I did. It was just a DM and they replied. And after they replied, I said, can I have your phone number? Let's meet up for coffee. So that's how everything started. I just shamelessly asked for an opportunity to meet up. And then when I meet them, I just uh, presented my, uh, my idea and I showed, gave them some samples of my products. And thankfully, at that point of time when I approached them, they were, they were all already aware of the brand. They knew about our good quality. They read about our reviews. So they were already at that level where they were somewhat confident about our product and our brand. So I actually, I guess timing is very important. I approached them at the right time. Like all these artists, you can actually reach out by yourself and do it for an SME. But of course, if you have a PR company, it's much easier. But if you don't have fi finance, uh, finances to do that, you can always just do it yourself.